Hi, I'm Kaylee from createwithkaylee.com and I'm back today to continue my tutorial on how to make this little mini album. Today we're going to focus on the waterfall section of the album and I'm going to take you through step by step how to create this. So the first thing we need to do is we need to cut the pattern paper for each layer. Now we have nine layers so we need to cut nine squares. Now it's pretty easy count because it is three and a quarter by three and a quarter times nine. So I'm just going to grab a piece of paper that I like and I think I'm going to go with the same as that one for last time actually. So I'm just going to slide this in and cut three and a quarter. Now we should be able to get three pieces from one so we just need to cut three strips. Now as I mentioned before I'm not going to actually put my own pictures in this album because I want to be able to give it away and I think if I give somebody an album and it's full of pictures of me they probably <laughs> would be a little disappointed. But I'm still going to show you how to decorate it because we're going to we're going to decorate it without having the pictures in it's not a big issue at all in fact it's probably what a lot of you are going to do i think this would make a really beautiful gift to give to somebody especially if they've just um got married been on an amazing holiday maybe they've just had a baby something like that this would be a really beautiful gift as well as cherishing your own memories you could give someone else that they can do the same so here we go And what we're going to do now is a job lot of sticking. We're going to do all of these down. So I've got the waterfall here and we're just literally just going to stick them down like that. So I'm going to start at the top. I like to do things in um, multiples so we're going to do put glue on three of them and stick them down. My trimmer is about to fall off so I'm just going to move that before it makes an almighty bang. scares me and everyone half to death. So I just stick these down and flip up. And here we go. Now I think with albums like this the paper is just so beautiful that actually I made my pictures smaller than necessary simply so that I could see some of the paper as well I didn't want to lose it I didn't want to just cover my photos up and I actually for this I used just my printer and I whisper white cardstock to print on I just printed them I think it's wallet size there's nine images to a sheet but it just means you get some really good sizes that fit on here quite nicely yet still um so they're not stupidly small so you can't see the image but they are small enough that you can still see the pattern paper so when we sell this it's called dsp um designer series paper but <laughs> so many people unless you're a demonstrator you don't really use the word dsp so i'm trying really hard to rather than use an acronym which i hate I'm trying to use the actual description of the product let me know if it's helping or not. I'm so excited to start seeing some pictures of what you're all making, so please do share. You can share at Create with Kaylee on Facebook, or you can just send me an email. My contact details are on the blog, so I'd love to see what you create. Maybe feature some of them in an upcoming blog post. Okay, so there we go. I've now completed adding all of the DSP into my album and it starts to get creating. 
So before I go any further, I want to just give you a quick tip. If you do decide that you want to print out on Whisper White, then when you're creating your image, when you're um, when you printed it off, you'll probably be left with a white frame. Now that's what I was left with, and it didn't look fantastic by itself. So what I did, and here's an example, it's been my wedding day. I just got some Marina Mist ink, and I just got a sponge, and I sponged up the edge of the cardstock. So pretend this is a printed photo. Got the ink and I just went along the edge like this. And this just meant that I was having, I wasn't having harsh white edges. It just meant that it kind of blended a little bit better into the background. Obviously I'm not doing that today because I'm not putting images in, but I just wanted to give you that tip so you didn't miss out. Okay, so first of all, one of the things I'm gonna show you is with the embellishment pack, one of the things you get is this beautiful washi tape. Now I used it to highlight my image here. Today I'm just going to use it to go across the cardstock like so. Now I'm just being rough with it and I will tidy it up in a second. And all I'm going to do is take my scissors and snip. Now I purposely had this going across the edge of the cardstock just so it finishes it. And if this was a gift, the person could just add their own photo into that. And they've kind of now got a little frame to frame their photo. Now I've also just used quite a few of these little vellums, vellum flowers. I did want to show you that with these, you can actually decorate them up. So if I bring back my um, scrap of paper and my sponge, just take the sponge and the piece of vellum and just sponge the back of it up. Now this will just create um, a slightly different colour on your vellum and just mean that it's no longer bright white when you turn it over, it's just again just that little bit um, extra coordination. So today because I am using because I've not got a photo to line it up against, I am going to have a white one, a piece of vellum, and a blue one just going off together. Now all I'm gonna to do to adhere these down is put just a tiny amount of glue on here, just some teeny tiny little glue dots using my Tombow glue, and this will keep it stuck down, but also is just enough, is, is not too much so that you see the glue prints. And this will just allow, if somebody adds their photo in, just to add as in that act as a nice frame. So I did a big squirt there and I'm just going to rub it along. And also on this I'm just going to add a few diamantes. Just to finish off. I'm going to go for the bigger diamantes as always finger on, pull away, and then you have it in your hand. Just gonna add three to my little display and leave as such. Okay, for my next piece, I'm gonna use one of the dies in the coordinating die set. Now I've already die cut it, but I'm just gonna get it out and show you. There's quite a lot of different dies in this set. I am going to use this tag shape, so I'm just going to push it out, you see that's got quite a lot of bits, um, I'm just going to run my finger over them just to poke the little bits out, should get most of them by doing this, and if not I'm just going to use a poker tool to get the rest out but I think they're all coming out quite nicely on, our own, on their own. Our new dies are very delicate. Um, will have very delicate pieces but they come out really easily which is a godsend. So in my original I just had this, um, I just used the bottom to frame the picture but this time I'm going to have the whole image just tilted to a side and I'm going to grab some ribbon and just have a little bit of ribbon 
poking through this. So I'm just going to use my scissors to poke the ribbon through. And I'm simply going to tie in a knot. And then I'm going to horizontally cut my ribbon just to add a bit of de decoration. And this is just going to be stuck on my page to a side so that somebody could put a little picture, maybe a little sentiment on here when they come to fill it. And because of the half centimetre between, it sticks really well and is not going to be too thick that it damages the card. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take one of the bigger pieces and I could just keep it in just like that. But what I actually want to do is a little bit of fussy cutting and layer this up. So I'm going to cut around this um, image of the flower and just fussy cut around. And then I'm going to lay this directly on top as such and that's going to create a bigger flower for me. I'm just going to stick down with one dimension, one dimensional sorry and layer it down and you should be able to layer it in a position that you can't really tell that it's been cut and then this will just get popped in the corner and people can then add a photo and use this to hook the photo in or they can just use it as an edge. Now if you are giving this to somebody who's celebrating say a certain anniversary um, you would be able to put in use these numbers. I am going to use this white piece of white cake and I'm going to put a number, um, I'm going to go with a number 10 and say it's somebody's 10th anniversary. I am giving this as a gift so I've just realised I probably don't want to put the 10 but I am going to keep this cake in and I'm going to get an aqua painter pick up a bit of the colour and I'm just going to colour across this cake um, because this is embossed silver this will resist so I can wipe away at the end meaning that the silver will stay nice and clear And again, I'm just using Marina Mist. And what I'm going to do now I've coloured the cake in is I'm going to pick up the blue and where the flower is, I'm just going to put a little bit darker colour. Just for effect. These are flowers too. Okay. So I'm just going to put that to a side, but that will go on that piece there. Okay, so for my next piece, I'm going to go back in with my washi tape. And this time I'm going to frame the whole piece. This washi tape is really thin um, but beautiful. You can see me using this in my diary, it's where most of my washi tape tends to end up because I like to use it um, as dividers on pages and just because it's beautiful. It's like if I'm going to say I've got a week long project I'll put this across the whole page. And again this is just creating a nice frame for what, what will be our pictures. I'm just going to cut away the excess. I 
and you can rip this but because I want it, I'm giving this away I want to make sure it's as perfect as I can make it. Okay, so there we have a nice framed piece. Okay, I showed you yesterday how you could use the embossing paste. Well, I just cut out a flower. I'm sorry, I created a flower and now I'm just going to cut around this and just add this in. I'm not going to stick the whole thing in though, I'm going to stick just a partial amount and make it so that you can put a piece of card in it, just like it's got like a kind of little tab. But this is the embossing paste when you do it fully. So all I'm going to do here is have it in an L shape. So when I stick that down, you will be able to add in a little bit, that's a bit big. I'm just going to grab in it my trimmer and just trim this down a little bit. So I'll be able to add in a little note there and you can just pull it out and read it. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to some of the vellum pieces. and create a pattern here. All I'm going to do is have the flower with the vellum coming out. And these decoration, this accessory pack just makes decorating so easy because the hard work's done for you. You can obviously use the stamp set and the dies to create even more um, opportunities and ways of and different ways to decorate but I'm just keeping it fairly simple and using what I've got. Now what I'd like to do on the bottom of this page is just add this blue some of the blue ribbon over so I'm just gonna grab my tear tape which I think I've dropped on the floor so no, here it is so I'm just going to tear tape all the way along here and cut. And I'm going to remove the backing tape. And apply the ribbon all the way along the bottom. Just for a little bit more decoration. Just gonna cut that away. And there we have it. I'm gonna go back to that page that doesn't have the cake on it. The cake's now dried. And again, I'm just going to apply glue along the bottom so that you can use this just the same as the flower and you can just tuck things into the cake. Once I'm finished with this, all I need to do is tie it into a little bow and then it is ready to stick into the main album when we do the final assembly tomorrow. So I so hope you've enjoyed watching the final stage of decoration. Tomorrow we'll be doing the final bits plus assembly. So I hope you pop back. Please let me know how you're getting on. If you want to purchase any of the supplies used today and you live in the UK, please do get in contact. I'd love to earn your custom. If you've liked this video, please hit subscribe. Like the video and be back tomorrow. As always, the measurements are all on my blog. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.